In the past few weeks, I received multiple questions from different people regarding landing pages, how to create a landing page, how to create a converting landing page, and so on. So in this video, I'm going to answer multiple individuals at the same time, and today we're going to talk about how to create a converting landing page. Before we begin, I'd like to tell you that a landing page will be a page with one offer, one product, one service, but only one. You cannot have in one landing page more than one thing. This is one of the basics of a landing page. Some people will say, if I already sent a person, a lead, to my landing page, I like to offer him multiple products. You can but that's not really a landing page. A landing page will have one product, one service, one offer, and that's it. And you're trying to do your best to convert the person on this page. A good landing page will not have any navigation, which means the person goes into the page and is being locked. He cannot bounce out, he cannot go. The only thing that he can do is just take action or close the page. So just so we understand what is a landing page. In most of the cases, I will not have a conventional landing page, which means I will have a page, but I will also have navigation. So I'm not doing it as I supposed to do, because for me, there are more purposes when I'm pushing people to landing pages, but just so you understand, that's the right way to go about it. So let's begin with section number one. Section number one will be the hook. It's basically will be the headline, the way for you to bring people into the page, the reason for the user to be pulled into the page. Most people don't have time. Most people are busy. They will have short attention span and they will be able to read the headline if the headline makes sense. Most of the ca cases, they will just scroll down, will look for a little bit of more information. They will scan the page. They won't even read it. And then they will take action if it makes sense. So most people won't even read what you're writing. Some people will read. And therefore, you need to have something in the headline that will catch their eye. If I compare it to a landing page that we created, you can see that there is no navigation on the top. So you only have a way or to close the page or to take action. You will have here the headline section that we created three of them, but most of the cases you will have the one, we call it H1, which is the main headline, and then the second one, okay? But the bottom line is when we're sending people in this case, to, to sending people to buy our Zoho CRM course, they supposed to read what's in the headline and that's supposed to make them convert and go ahead and buy the course. Let's continue to section number two. In section number two, we have the pain. Most people will look for a solution or a product based on a need that they currently have. In this case, we call it pain. The next section of the page is supposed to include pain points, supposed to have some kind of reasons why the potential will buy your product. Most people will have common problems and whenever you have your sales meetings, people will say, okay, I want your service because one, two, three, I am suffering from, my pain points are, if I will have that, it will solve ABC. So there are some pain points and problems related to your service. So your service is relieving some pain points. You will need to list those pain points and create a section based on that. So the person starting to read the page, he will see the headline. And then once he go down and he's reading the rest of the page, he will see different pain points that will, he will understand that you know is pain and obviously if you understand this pain there is probably also a good solution in place the next section will be benefits what can i gain from having your service what can i gain 
from buying your product. So basically, it's how I can enjoy by spending money with your company. You will see that you have the benefits of using the service or the product, what to expect when using the service or product, basically showing the person that is right now watching your page, what is the end game. If you're selling a tour to Greece, I want to feel like I'm in Greece. I like to feel when I finished my tour, what do I have? What kind of memories? When you're selling kids toys, give me the feeling as a parent, which I'm the one who's spending the money. How would I feel playing with my kid? How my kid will enjoy from it? How we will develop as a kid and so on. So the bottom line here, you need to give me the feeling that before paying for the product, I need to feel like the product is already with me and what will be my value from having this product while I have the product and post having the product. In my case, as you can see, we're already listing all the cool stuff that people can do with their CRM. So that will be the reason for them to buy the product. We also listed it in a visual way that you can see the different sections in the course in a more visual way so people can get more feeling of what this product can do for them. Next, we have the call to action. The call to action will be the bottom line. Once I saw that you understand my pain points, then I see that you can actually give me the, the, the value and you can solve my problem. Then I will have a call to action button that I can basically buy a product. In some cases, you will need to send a form. Some other cases, you will need to call. Sometimes you will be able to book an appointment from the page with a calendar. Sometimes you will send SMS, send WhatsApp, or maybe start chatting with an agent online. So the next step is basically the call to action. Once the person sees that you understand this pain and you can also provide him the cure for it. Now let's talk about it. And that's the next section. Next, we have the trust. The trust will be anything that you can put out there. Of course, the real things. Don't BS. Don't scam. Because eventually it will explode. Anything that is real that you can take advantage of to show that you are real, that you know what you're doing, anything works. Now, I listed there multiple things that you can use. Of course, there are many, many more. But those are the main things that almost anyone can do. Establish trust that must be based on real reviews. Now, it can be Google reviews, industry-specific reviews, someone knowledgeable and known to the community that is reviewing your product or your service, qualifications that you have, such as diplomas, such as specific certifications, anything that you received from a known brand. Let's say LG as a company promoted me as a partner or Zoho promoted me as a premium partner. That's a huge achievement. And that's something that's supposed to be out there. How many years in the business? Some businesses will be a few months in the business. Obviously don't do it. If you are a few years in the market or many years or second generation, put it out there. There is some, there is some way to it. Courses that you created, books that you authored, maybe you're, you have some forums that you are, you are writing and you're, you're an authority. Anything can help. Now, the trust section, it's or you do it in one section or you spread it along the page. So I will show you here that if, for example, you look at my page, we decided to spread the different trust factors along the page. So that will be, for example, a review. And then you will have more reviews. So we have a bunch of reviews across the page. And we have how many stars our courses received uh, online. 
whenever you're ready, you have the get instant access, which eventually takes you to the order page and you can take action and buy the product. Okay. So that's my call to action. So if by that point, the user didn't buy your product, then we have a little bit more content for him. Then you have the unbeatable offer. You have an offer that cannot be refused. If you have, for example, some kind of a service or a product, make it juicy, make it as good as it can be. So the chances of conversion will go up. That's very, very important. Now, if you have a low price product, you can sell online. If it's a more expensive product, probably you don't want to sell it online and you want to involve a salesperson. So the call to action will be book an appointment or book a demo. So just be mindful when you are trying to sell online. And the last part is again, call to action. Now that's a very basic landing page that we created. That's the structure of one of our most basic landing pages. Some pages can be much more advanced and complicated. Obviously, there is not one truth in, in how to create a landing page. It's about you and about your business. But when I'm working with customers and we need to have a landing page up and running pretty fast, usually we'll go with this route as a base and usually the results are pretty good. So I hope I was able to help you to create a quality landing page. Mm.